Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating, and for many, still somewhat mysterious, component, the toroidal transformer. Understanding how it works not only helps us appreciate its importance, but also allows us to grasp how it can significantly impact the overall quality of our audio systems. Are you trying to build an amazing sound system? Are you investing time and money but still not getting the improvements you were hoping for? If so, this book is for you. How to build the perfect sound system, from beginner to audiophile, is a practical, no-nonsense guide to help you create a system that sounds spectacular, without overspending, and without falling for trends or myths. Many audio enthusiasts waste thousands of dollars on poorly chosen gear, cables that make no difference, or setups that don't perform as expected. This book teaches you how to avoid those mistakes, how to invest wisely, and, most importantly, how to enjoy your music even more. You'll learn how to choose the right components based on your space, your tastes, and your budget. You'll understand which technologies you truly need and which you don't. You'll learn how to calibrate your system for peak performance and how to build a setup with a smart, well-planned investment. It's not about picking the most expensive, the most powerful, or the biggest components, it's about picking the right ones. And in that, this book can make a real difference. It's available on Amazon Worldwide. You'll find the link in the description, so don't wait to start building the sound system you've always dreamed of. Your music deserves it. Before we continue, we'd like to ask for a small favor, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel. It's free for you, but it means a lot to us as it helps us keep producing this kind of content. Thank you so much for your support. Alright, now let's get to the good stuff, how does a transformer work? First, let's cover the basics. A transformer is essentially a device that transfers energy from one circuit to another using magnetic fields, with no direct physical connection between them. It might sound like magic, but it's not, it's pure physics. What's the most important thing you need to understand? It's actually pretty simple. An electric current generates a magnetic field. A changing magnetic field can induce a current in another conductor. If we wind that conductor into a coil, we greatly enhance this interaction. And if we also use a specially designed core, that magnetic field is concentrated and directed more efficiently, maximizing the process. Transformers always work with alternating current, AC, because the magnetic field needs to be constantly changing to induce electricity. This is exactly what Faraday's law explains. The main purpose of a transformer, as the name suggests, is to transform voltages. It can either step them up or step them down depending on the ratio of windings between its two coils, the primary, input, and the secondary, output. Although voltage and current change, the nominal power, aside from minor losses, stays essentially constant. Here's where another key factor comes into play, the magnetic core. There are different types and shapes of cores, and each affects the transformer's behavior in unique ways. But when it comes to efficiency, size, and precision, few designs can match today's star, the toroidal core. You might be wondering, why that peculiar donut-like shape? Well, it's not an aesthetic choice, it's pure engineering. It has everything to do with how magnetic fields behave. Imagine a simple wire carrying current. Its magnetic field wraps around the wire in a cylindrical shape. But if we wind that wire into a coil, the field starts to take on a toroidal shape, expanding in all directions. When we place a solid toroidal core inside, we can contain and control that field much more efficiently. What are the benefits of this? First, the magnetic flux stays completely contained within the core. Second, magnetic field leakage to the outside is virtually eliminated. Third, losses due to eddy currents within the core are reduced. And lastly, electromagnetic interference, EMI, is significantly minimized. All of this translates into greater efficiency, fewer losses, lower operating temperatures, and, most importantly for audio, far less noise compared to traditional transformers. Now, let's talk briefly about construction. The manufacturing process for a toroidal transformer is more precise and labor-intensive than for other designs. 
It starts with a toroidal core, usually made of silicon steel or ferrite, coated with an insulating material like nylon. The primary winding is carefully and uniformly wound around the core. Afterward, all layers are insulated to prevent short circuits, and the secondary winding is added on top, maintaining proper separation. Finally, everything is secured with washers, rubber, and hardware, forming a very compact and durable assembly. An interesting fact, typically, the primary coil has more windings than the secondary. This means most toroidal transformers are designed to step down voltage. The formula is simple, output voltage equals input voltage x, secondary turns slash primary turns. Another advantage is flexibility. While this isn't exclusive to toroidal designs, it's common to find transformers with multiple taps on their windings. This allows for different voltage combinations to suit various needs. For example, you might have a primary coil with 100 turns and a secondary with 10 turns, giving you 22 volts output from a 220 volt input. If you want another output, you can add a secondary winding with 20 turns for 44 volts. Secondary windings can even have intermediate taps to provide multiple voltages from the same coil, saving material and simplifying installation. This same trick applies to primary windings to accommodate different mains voltages, like 110V or 220V, without swapping the transformer. But if they're so good, why aren't they used everywhere? Despite their advantages, toroidal transformers do have limitations. They're more complex and expensive to manufacture. It's harder to produce them in very large sizes. They're generally limited to power ratings of just a few kilovolt amperes, kVA. That's why they're so popular in hi-fi audio equipment, medical electronics, lighting systems, and precision instruments, but less common in large-scale industrial installations. Now, the most important question, what are the specific benefits for audio systems? In sound systems, a good toroidal transformer makes a huge difference. It reduces electromagnetic interference. It minimizes hum in amplifiers. It provides more stable current delivery. It handles power surges more effectively. That's why in high-end hi-fi amplifiers and premium audio gear, toroidal transformers are almost standard. They ensure cleaner sound, with less background noise and a more faithful reproduction of the original recording. So, to sum it up, why choose a toroidal transformer? Because they offer lower noise, fewer losses, and higher efficiency. They're compact, versatile, operate at lower temperatures, and deliver total silence, goodbye to annoying hum. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and leave us a comment with your thoughts on this product. Turn on notifications so you won't miss future content. Your support is what allows us to keep creating quality content for this amazing audiophile community. Thanks for being here and for sharing this passion with us. See you in the next video.